above the city center airport in Edmonton, Alex Tagliani leads round number six of the 2008 NASCAR Canadian Tire Series presented by Sirius Satellite Radio on TSN. The Dodge Caliber SRT4 pace car heads off down pit lane to a ready to work lap 18 as the cars line up single file here getting set for the restart. On board with Peter Gibbons in that Ford. Now, Peter Gibbons running a Chevrolet on the ovals and a Ford on the road courses. He believes there's more power in the Ford for the road course. There goes the Dodge Caliber SRT Ford down pit lane. Billy, what are the drivers thinking now as they head for their first restart of the afternoon? Well, excitement levels up. This is when everybody's closed up. You can gain some spots. Got to get through the gearbox real fast. Don't miss a shift. Green flags back up, and they power down the front straightaway, heading for corner number one. Look at the drivers start to fan out. As they fan out, we're three wide back there in the field. DJ Kennington up on the outside. Here comes Scott, Scott Steckley in the tow truck in a box 22. He'll take over second spot. Wow, he diamond that corner off real nice. Got the position just as smooth as silk. And so Trevor Siebert now tucked in behind the 27 of Andrew Ranger with the 84 and the 19 also in there. But your leader is still the seven car of Alex Tagliani, the Walmart Ford Fusion. Number seven, the Jacobs Racing Car, now split by the points leader, Scott Steckley, the tow truck in a box 22. Well, his confidence level is so high. He's having such a great year. Remember back in the rain at Mossport, this was a brand new car at that time, and he finished fourth. The reason he finished fourth, he was not going to hurt that car in the rain. Really, being Steckley right now in that seat, you got to think he feels like he's Superman. Well, that's for sure. Hey, we're on board with Siebert. He's got a problem with the shifter. Look at him playing with that shifter. Siebert in the Lake Excavating Ford Fusion still running in the top five as he tries to grab a gear. And there you see the 84 of J.R. Fitzpatrick is going to go around. So problems on the 69 of Trevor Siebert. We'll have to keep an eye on that. It looks like it's stuck in third or maybe even fourth gear. Now he's heading down pit lane. So the Ford Fusion makes a move for the pits here as Trevor Siebert drops out of the top five. Look at this, side by side. We got more action back in the field. That's DJ Kennington getting passed by the 19 of Brad Graham. That's for fifth spot. Fifth spot, Don Thompson Jr. in the four. Mark Dilley in the nine is there as well. The first glimpse of the Dodge as he passed underneath the screen. There is Brad Graham and DJ Kennington giving chase. Got to give another nod to the job that 19 team is doing here today. But we'll have another look at this 69 car. You see, he just drops off the pace trying to grab a gear. Watch, I'll show, I'll show you where this is. I'm going to draw a circle around the shifter. Watch it. Right there. See, the shifter's back there. He's trying to shift it. There. See? There. It's it in his hand. Off. There's no shifter left and hooked up in that car. Trevor Siebert grabs the nub to go down pit lane, so the crew inside the passenger window trying to get that fixed. Billy, what are they looking for here? Well, they're going to have to find the bolts or actually go to the toolbox and get two new 3-8 spine shifter bolts, stick it in there, and put it back together. Wow, that's going to be heartbreak for the 69 team. Having a great run here in the early going at Edmonton. But Trevor Siebert watching this race go away from him on pit lane. That's a good luck there of Brad Graham with DJ Kennington, Don Thompson Jr. in the three car. Jason Hathaway the snap on Dodge. Well, I still want to give a tip of the hat to the 19 car. Brad Graham, as we said before, not known as a great road racer, but he's having a whale of a ride here today. Riding on board with the Norton Monte Carlo. That's Todd Nickel and Kennington. Take a look down low. Under breaking into the back of the 19. Wow, Brad Graham gets a little fiberglass help. Whoa, Whoa. he's in the fence. He lost it, caught that tire wall, and a big off for the 19 of Brad Graham as he tries to get things going here, but smoke coming on from under the hood of the 19 as the caution flag flies. The Glencoe, Ontario native, stopped here in Edmonton after a hard hit into the tire barrier. Well, it was just unfortunate they got to racing, and they were in a kind of a, a real bad zone where the car was unloaded. DJ just barely touched him. Watch, here we are at the replay. Just barely touched him once. The, now the car is sliding, sliding, sliding. He's trying to catch it, and he just catches the tire barrier. That's a heavy lick in a pretty quick area of this racetrack. So some body damage, might be some front wheel damage to the 19 card. That, too, has to be heartbreak for that team. Oh, very unfortunate. There's the crew chief, Mike Knott. He'll be ready to assess the damage of that car and get his car fixed and back out on the racetrack. Here comes Graham to pit road. And so Graham trying to make his way down to pit lane. His bodywork rubbing on the left front tire of the Logos Automotive. Dodge Avenger as the wheel and engineering safety team goes to work on the tire wall. We'll take yet another look at it. 
Just a small, small touch. Very, very soft touch. But here we are, we're sliding. The car is just sliding. He's up in the marbles, and he can't get it gathered up in time. So some heavy fiberglass damage to the 19 car, Todd. Well, the bodywork is only one of the problems that the number 19 full throttle Fury car is going to take a look at. That steam coming out of the hood, and you can see it blowing on the windshield because the airbox got moved. They're worried about the radiator. There's body damage all along the left side. This could be a lengthy time on pit road for Brad Graham. Well, when you get into those tire barriers, the fiberglass flexes, the tires flex, and it just moves all the fiberglass and aluminum around. And it's a long run back to the pits here in Edmonton. When you mess up on the other end of the track, that engine will heat up very, very quickly. Well, if he was dumping coolant out, that's for sure. The motor would just get hotter and hotter. Now, once they replace everything, they'll have to cool it down and go to work. There's Mike Knott. He's trying to get, get that aluminum air box out of the way so he can assess the radiator. Well, another driver that is off is the 69 of Trevor Siebert. And Todd standing by there. Crew having a look inside the number 69 car. Trevor Siebert, the driver, is out. Felt the vibration yesterday, and it looks like it got the better of you today. Yeah, we had a, we put a brand new engine in before we came here, and we had a terrible vibration, and uh, the mirror actually snapped off inside the car yesterday, and a bunch of bolts fell out of the car, and uh, we took the engine out, sent it back to the engine shop. We had a little balance problem with the motor. Put the other one in. We were looking really good, but the gear shift broke off right where it, uh, right where it bolts into the transmission there, and uh, I guess that's the end of our day. Kind of sad. The guys worked so hard to get this motor in yesterday, and everything was looking really good, but it's the way it goes. I guess we we'll go get them in Montreal. Tough break for Trevor Siebert here, guys, but he'll be back in Montreal. Back with more from Edmonton when we return.